All right, let's apply nodal analysis to this circuit here from basic engineering circuit analysis problem 313 and solve for uh, V naught. So that's our, our final answer is going to be what is V naught. To apply nodal analysis we have a series of steps that we're going to run through. The first is to assign a ground node. So I'm going to pick this to be my ground node. Okay, and that includes really the entire bottom of the circuit because we have a bunch of elements that are in um, uh, in parallel. Now we want to identify and label the essential nodes. So we have really only one essential node in here and it's V1. And the reason is that um, we could consider this a node right here, except that we know what the voltage is. Um, remember, this is all of this is our ground. So uh, we know that this is five volts up here. Okay, so we don't really need to assign that. And then. Um, we're going to forget about the V naught for the time being and just worry about solving the circuit first. If I combine these two resistors, I would I could kind of think of a node as being down here. But again, I know the voltage at that node is negative 6 volts. So really, there's just the V1. The next thing I want to do is label the branch currents. So I'm going to arbitrarily pick my branch currents. Usually, there's you know a smart way to pick them. Not always. Sometimes you don't know, and you can just assign it however you want, as long as we obey the passive sign convention. Okay, and this one will be I3. And now we can just apply KCL. Okay, so KCL in this case is going to look like this. I1, we'll call the going into the node positive, plus I2 minus I3 equals zero. Okay, let's uh, rewrite I now in terms of V and the voltage and the resistance. Um, it helps to label these as we're getting started so that we don't get our negatives and positives messed up. So we want to label the positive and negative uh, to obey the passive sign convention for the given currents that we've um, that we've written in. Okay, so according to this here, uh, this side is at a higher potential than this side. So it's going to be 5 minus V1 over the resistance 2k. This one's easy. We don't even care about the resistor because we have 6. 6m. And then this is negative because it's going out of the node. And um, I'm not going to redraw it, but we'll implicitly combine these two resistors. Um, so that'll be over 9k. And uh, According to our passive sign convention, the V1 is at a higher potential than the negative 6 volts. So we're going to say V1 minus negative 6 over 9k equals 0. Okay, now um, let's just solve for V. So I'm going to get a common denominator by multiplying by both of these by a good one, like 9 over 9 here and 2 over 2 here. So I'll get 45 minus 9v1 over 18 plus 6m minus um, 2vi and the minus and the minus make a plus uh, so that will be 12 over 9 Oh, I'm sorry, 18k equals 0. Now we'll just remove the 18k by multiplying through by 18k. 
So um, I'll multiply everything in this equation by 18k. That will just cancel this k out here and this k out here. And, uh, and then I need to multiply it by the 6m. So the m and the k will cancel, and that's 108. So we get 45 minus 9v1 plus 108 minus 2v1 uh, minus 12, right? Because uh, this negative, we're subtracting these values so we could really apply the negative to both, uh, both of these here. And that equals zero. Okay, so we'll um, collect our terms. 108 plus 45 minus 12, we get 141. And then minus 9 minus 12 equals 11, so uh, negative 11. But we'll move it over to the other side. 11 v1. So v1 then equals 141 divided by 11 which is 12.82 volts. Okay, so we have now um, applied KCL and solved for the volt, uh, node voltages and now we want to back solve for the currents and the unknowns. We don't need all the currents, we really only need I3 because I3 is going to help us to answer what is V naught. So we already have an equation for I3. It's right here. So let me just go down below and apply that. It's V1 minus negative 6 over 9k. And, and that is I3. Okay, so uh, V1, so we get 12.82 plus 6 over 9K. And when you do the math on that, you will get 2.09 milliamps. Okay. Um, now, let me just quickly redraw that little section of the circuit. We had a circuit that looked like this. This was 6. Um, this is 3K. Oops, this is 6 volts, right? And then this. with that polarity is V0. Okay, so we can do KVL around this loop and I'll do it like this. Okay, starting here we get 6 volts. Uh, we'll just leave it at 6. Uh, oops, and remember we also have to label I and make sure that we use the passive sign convention. So 6 minus 3 now I could say there's a 3K here times a 2.09 milliamps, so the um, milli and the kili cancel out, and we get 3 times 2.09. And then uh, continuing around, we get we go through the positive terminal of V naught, so that's plus V naught, and that's equal to zero. This is KVL. Okay, so uh, V naught then equals <clears throat> uh, 3 times 2.09 which is 6.27 minus 6 and so the voltage uh, acro across that part of the circuit then is 0.27 volts. Okay, hope that was helpful.